Alright, hello everybody. Um, today is something a bit different in that uh, I have a guest with me. Uh, so if you want to introduce yourself, go right ahead. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, my name is Terrific, and yeah, we're we're gonna be doing a a little co-op. It's a uh, what what Soul Link? Yeah, yeah, it, Soul it, Link. It, it's a Soul Link Nuzlocke. Yes, yeah, Soul Link Nuzlocke. Yeah. So if uh, in the event there's anybody watching this who's not familiar with what exactly that means, um. Basically, it's like a regular Nuzlocke, you know, you can only catch the first thing uh, you encounter on a route, and uh, if it feigns to die, it's, you know, you have to permanently box it, release it, and whatnot. Uh, but there's also a couple additional rules, too. Like, um, I probably should have pulled them up before I hit record, but <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it, it's like, it, y y your encounter is... Like, let's say on the first route, uh, uh, Terrific encounters a, a Zigzagoon, and I encounter a Poochiena. Then, um, if Terrific Zigzagoon dies, I can't use my Poochiena, and vice versa. And if, one yes. them, and if one of them is put in the PC, then the other one has to be put in the PC as well. Uh, yes, precisely. So our encounters will be linked. Their souls will be bonded. And so with that, their fates are sealed. So they're intertwined. If one of them dies, we can, the other corresponding team member cannot be used. Um, and other basic Nuzlocke rules. And like, uh, like it was just said, if one of them is boxed, the other one is boxed. So that's that's pretty much it. It's all pretty pretty normal i yeah. suppose I, well i guess as normal as this can be so <laughs> there are a couple additional rules uh like y you can only like one has to be male one has to be female and something but we're not gonna we're gonna ignore those rules <laughs> um, oh yeah yeah and then the other rule about how we can't duplicate primary typings right that's I the other one that, yeah that doesn't really make sense in my head yeah, because and, uh, in a normal in, in a normal Nuzlocke, you you can duplicate as many typings as you want as long as you follow the other rules. So I don't I don't see the point of that one. So yeah, and also just because this is our first time doing this kind of thing, so yeah, I figure just make it a bit easier on us. So yeah. Uh, anyway, okay. uh, if you're ready, let's hit new game and okay, get yes, started. Cause... Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, because I was going to say, like, I have definitely not um, <laughs> started the new game yet, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so generic Professor Birch stuff, Pokemon Professor, he yeah. shows, up, shows us a Pokemon. All that stuff, just a generic yeah. uh, welcome to the world of Pokemon speech and all that. Yeah. Oh, I guess another thing. Um, so we're going to be speeding this game up. Because I have a habit of, <laughs> like, speeding past, I guess, um, I don't know, sometimes dialogue. But I, mean, I still read it, it's just, I just speed up the game to make it go by faster. Yeah, I will probably eventually do such a thing, too. Okay. Um, we're also not sharing screens, because we tried it, <laughs> and for some reason Discord likes neither one of us, and uh, so... Yeah, basically, so we're just gonna have to kind of... Explain <laughs> verbally what's going on between the two of us. Yeah. If, if there's anything on screen that we want to uh, uh, share. Yeah. All right. So. But uh, I'm trying to think. I can never put my full my full name in these games, so I have to weirdly abbreviate it. Oh yeah, that's right. Because <laughs> your your name is like eight characters, but they only allow seven until like yeah. the 3DS games. <laughs> Yeah, I know. So, <laughs> and currently all I play are like Gen 3 ROM hacks, and so it's a struggle until I move up to, <laughs> to next gen ROM hacks. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, so let's see. I'm, yep, I'm, in the... I'm already in the, uh, in my house and stuff, so I'm just kind of. Oh, speaking. crap, I'm taking too long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, it's, it, it is fine. Uh, let's see, what the hell's the time? Okay, it's 10 30. 
trying to think. If really I remember matters. correctly, yeah. If I remember correctly, I think this game uses, or I guess uh, the emulator that will that we're using is um, uses it, the real time anyway, right? Yeah, it will just use our computer's yeah. clock, I think. So yeah, which, not that it really matters, but still, I yeah. I, I always like to set it correctly <clears throat> anyway, just cause. Yeah, same. Yeah, although I never, cause I know that I think there are some emulators that still don't do the whole using the real time. For some reason, I feel like, I don't know, this one is kind of essential. I mean, I guess not essential, but people will kind of expect it now. Yeah. So, so to not have it is, I don't it seems know, kind, kind of weird. weird. Yeah, yeah sort of like hotels that don't give you a free breakfast. <laughs> 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 Which, oh my goodness, because uh, my, my wife is going to Dallas with one of her friends for her birthday. Uh -huh. um, I guess for one thing that she wants to do with her birthday. And then... <sighs> Like, uh, the hotel that they're going to, since they're going to be in a new state, uh, you know, they wanted to actually get a decent one, and one that's not so shady, mm -hmm. and they had to pay for the breakfast, and I was, I think it's the Hilton, and I was like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> so, I, I don't know, I, I have certain expectations for hotels, which apparently includes breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, um, actually I just realized, did we mention that this is a hack that we're playing? You know what? We completely didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, th this is probably gonna be on screen anyway once I edit this. But the the name of this hack is Ruby Plus Plus, and um, so it has a, a, a number of uh, little features, and I think there's some Gen Four Pokemon in this too. Uh, but neither of us have played this before, so yeah, uh, semi blind experience here. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, starter time. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Why am I so behind? I don't know. I guess I, 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 I'm just so used to playing through these games so quickly. At least yeah, the like, beginning. like, I don't know, because I'm trying not to rush through it, but that leads Apparently to... Apparently, uh... <laughs> I'm rushing through it. <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to take my time, because I didn't know how fast you play through the games. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, right. help, 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 in my bag there's a Pokeball, yada, yada, yada. Okay, okay. let's see. Okay, so, let's see. Should we choose different starters? I feel yeah, like I that think might so. be. Alright, so who are you gonna pick? Oh, I've, I've always been a Mudkip fan. Alright, I'll like, go with Torchic is... then, because okay. that's the first Pokemon I ever picked, so I, I have yeah. special attachment to it. Yeah, because I mean, I, I do enjoy, um, like, because. I love I love all the fire type starters. Well, probably except for Tepig, just because for some reason Game Freak decided to give us three firefighting starters in a row for some reason. So yeah. I don't like Tepig as much. Uh, so, but normally I do enjoy uh, the fire types. But I don't know, like randomly, I just like the water types. Like I know for Gen Two, my favorite starter of the bunch was uh, Totodile. Totodile. Yeah, and I think the anime might have also played into that too so <clears throat> all right uh but yeah i just want to bring attention here one of the features of this is that you um well besides having like i forget what gen they based the move, level up move pools off of but like uh, my torch has seven. ember for example gen 7 yeah all right. i believe that it's up to gen 7 yeah but like my torch has ember for example and then also the stats are colored to show uh what the nature does and also if you press select you can see your pokemon's evs and then their ivs so pretty nice features yeah i think so so i'm on the nickname screen right now is that where you are or did you already move past that oh god no I, i'm still fighting the poochiana oh okay <laughs> yeah uh also one thing we should uh one thing that I think I forgot to mention before we started doing this, the starter it, it says you catch it, you got, you met it on Route 101, but should we count that as like a little route encounter and then have a separate <laughs> encounter for Route 101 or? Yeah, see, see, normally, um, like starters would count as a gift Pokemon, and so gift Pokemon don't really follow the same. I don't, like, they don't follow the same, I guess, rules, I guess, because since it's a gift, that shouldn't, like, exclude you from getting the other Pokemon for that area, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, like, um, I know a good example, um, um, 
and Gen and Kanto in the Celadon City game corner, you can buy, you know, the different Pokemon or whatever, and you can also get a free Eevee. Yeah. Uh, I think the way that most people do it is you can get the Eevee in like one game corner encounter, and that's your like your gift for the game corner. Is, is does that make sense? What I said? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, what should I name this Mudkip? Yeah. I forgot I, what na- I forgot I, what name I normally give them. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of a name for my Torchic too. And of course I got the one out of eight chance of it being female. Oh wow, that's nice. Yeah. The Uh wait, what what percent is that again? It, it's it, it's like 7. an eighty seven five, I think. Something it's like, like an eight it's like an 87.5% chance of it being male, so a 12.5% okay. chance of it being female. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and crap, I was fully, I'm way too long. I was fully prepared to give it a stupid nickname like Colonel Sanders or something. Yeah. But that won't work anymore. <laughs> uh, crap. Um, mm, time to start typing up random letters and see what I get. Yes. Um... Yeah, I need to hurry up too and d- decide what the hell I want to name this thing. Uh, okay, I named I named it Nani. Oh, I know. I will, because normally in my streams I have um, that will well nowadays at least uh, mm-hmm. I have like that a uh, little image showing like who my patrons are and stuff so uh-huh. i'll just nickname my starter after that since i don't think there's really room for me to have that <laughs> the patron image in this yeah and honestly i'm not gonna lie oh wait no never mind <laughs> because uh i went to the like the screen to see the evs and ivs yeah and i thought I was on the EV screen, but I thought it was on the IB screen. Yeah. And I just looked, and I saw that everything was zero except for attack <laughs> with one. I was like, what is this? Okay, but EVs aren't that bad. Pretty decent. So, all right. Time, all right. To, time and, to get out of here. And now, since we don't have Pokeballs, we should mm-hmm. ignore all counters until we get them, right? Yes. Okay. Yep, I think so. And I don't know if you noticed, but the little kid who like told us that the professor was in danger, yeah. is that meant to be Max from the anime? Are, are you familiar with the um, with the Gen 3, Gen 3 anime? anime? Yeah, Gen yeah. 3 was like the one generation that I actually watched a bit, because uh-huh. I, I was still like a young bab when it was uh, a thing and stuff. And also I just realized I forgot to get the extra potion, which I want to get just in case this rival battle is rude. Oh yeah, I forgot that too. Um, well, I mean, even if we lost, um, luckily, the common consensus nowadays is that the Nuzlocke doesn't officially start until you get Pokeballs. Right. So, yeah, so we can technically lose the first battle. Although we still not... have we still have to beat it though to progress with the story. So that's true. Yeah, that's true. Which I don't know how this game is gonna do it. Because I know that uh, in the in the newer games, your rival gets the starter that's weak to yours, so it's okay if you have the you know if you have a stab move already. But oh since God, I that's chose, right. Yeah, but since I chose Mudkip, does that mean that her Trico is gonna have uh, what absorb automatically? I'm gonna hope that the uh, <laughs> the person who made this was smart enough to give them a custom move set that just yeah. doesn't include their staff move of choice. Yeah. Uh, so, and actually, now that I think of... Well, actually, no, it might be different because Gen 7 moves that, so never mind. But anyway, uh-huh. yeah, let's see how bad this rival is. Yeah, I'm, I just made it to May right now. Okay. Oh, hey, do you want to do, like, the voices for them? Or, like, I don't know, how, how do you know what to do it? Because sometimes I'll, like, <laughs> uh, actually read out, you know, in, a, in an interesting voice. Um, yeah, I, the NPCs I... and whatnot. I typically don't read dialogue, so... Okay. Okay. Oh shit, they do have Water Gun. <laughs> oh my god. Yay, that's wonderful. Um, oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Alright, well, mine went for Lear, so hopefully I can, oh, like, knock it out with... Yep, nope, it has Absorb. <laughs> and and yeah, I, I'm dead in two hits, so... <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 
absorb will it takes out like maybe a third of my health but yeah. it gets hp back so yeah and, and then <laughs> You know, the other thing to remember, too, is that uh, Absorb only has 20 power, while Water Gun and Ember have 40. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I'm fighting Mudkip, so that means that's a, a 40 power Water Gun plus Stab. Yeah. So, um... Oh, wow. And, and not even Stab, I just thought about it, because I took it to, like, below yellow health. Yeah. And... So that means that it also got, like, its ability boost, too, so it knocked me out from like half health oh god yeah cuz uh, freaking yeah. torrent and stuff yep. or in your so, case overgrow <laughs> yep so I'm not sure what to do in this situation at all I'm um, I'm going up to level 8 and then I'm gonna try again yeah and hope that that's good enough uh, and I also just thought about something else what uh, cuz I checked I checked my money and I guess this won't be an issue um, since we can't like lose anyway but since this is based off of ruby and ruby and sapphire when you white out you lose half of your money to the trainer oh god that's right so yay i have 1500 <laughs> yeah. now yep which i don't know why they decided to because they did that in the uh, second gen too and it doesn't make any sense like they paid me 200 bucks when i beat them but i just paid me 1500 dollars so in what world does that make sense yeah, I, I I don't know. So... Oh shit, I forgot to heal. Oh. I should probably make sure I'm fully healed before I, I yeah. fight the, wa the water type with my fire type. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, is this, a, is this like the way that, that the person made the game harder? Because didn't they also make the game harder too? Uh, yeah, I, I... Oh, hi, Baneri. Um... <laughs> Uh, but I, I haven't I, seen the video yet. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think uh, they made it harder, but I, I'm I'm just going to kind of hope that this is an oversight <laughs> and not a sign of things to come. Yeah. Um, same. On, on, on the bright side, we didn't talk about this. Uh, I know some people, they count the Nuzlocke as over, like the first time that you white out. But the way I see it, as long as you have more Pokemon in the PC, you should be able to continue the Nuzlocke. So yeah, what, exactly. What you... that, that's okay, always so... how I thought of it, too. Okay. <clears throat> because, like, I don't know, because it just doesn't... Like, what, what a... because you can still progress through the game. Like, I don't think the Nuzlocke rules say that... Um, like, officially say that when you uh, white out, the game is over. It's just you need to have Pokemon to continue with, but if all your Pokemon are dead, then you can't continue. But if right. you have Pokemon in the PC, then you should be able to keep playing. Right, so. exactly. So, that that's what we're gonna follow, that mindset. Okay. Hmm. Oh right. yeah, I didn't even think about it, but I've been fighting the uh, Radita this whole time, and I guess that's a good indicator that my game is correct, because Radita, you can't find that on this route. Uh, yeah, exactly. Still want a Baneri, though. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not on the right route. Uh, I found my Baneri on the Baneri on Route 103. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's why. I'm on Route 101 for some yeah. reason. I need to grind up in Route 103. Yeah. I'm on, like, level 7, I think. Oh, whoa, a freaking Mareep? Wow. Well, <laughs> that'll be helpful for you. Also, that's kind of scary to think about, because you said you chose Mudkip, right? Yeah, I chose Mudkip. Yeah, so that Mareep might have, like, Thundershock or something. Um, you know what? You're right, because in Gen 7, I know Gen 7 made it to where Pokemon get their, like, good moves early. Yeah. So... <sighs> Yeah, we. <laughs> this might be the the first and last episode. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I I beat the rival already. So. Oh my freaking gosh! Okay, I need to speed up then. Because for some reason I decided to grind up in Route 103. I mean, in Route 101 instead of 103. So yeah. I was getting less experience. Uh huh. Oh, I found a Paris. All right. And okay. Speed. Oh, right, running shoes first, and then I have the Pokeballs, too, so... Uh -huh. My Nuzlocke officially begins. All right, well, tell me tell me what you get, I guess. Hopefully I can beat May. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 
Okay, well, I beat her. <laughs> All right, yay. All right, let's do this. All right, let's hope my one. first encounter isn't like a freaking Rattata. It probably will be. <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance of it. Come on. I, I wouldn't mind a Wurmple, to be honest. And it's a Poochiana at level okay, two. Okay, that, that's not bad. Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, it's... Oh, shit, I forgot to heal. Yay. <laughs> so I have this 5 HP torch hit against a level 2 Poochiana. <laughs> oh, um, boy. I mean, you can use your potion, though, if you want. Oh, that's I mean, true. Or, that's or a good you point. Could... Or you could risk tackle not uh, not killing the Torchic, to be honest. Yeah, no potion. I am playing it safe. <laughs> All right, here we go. I got my Pokeballs. Got my running shoes. Let me turn off the speed button. Let's see what my first encounter is. Here we go. And okay, I also have a Poochiana. Yay! At level three. So <laughs> uh, I'm gonna tackle because I don't trust Mudkip. See, I'm not even risking uh, tackling it or, any, or scratching it in my case, because yeah. I, I don't want to kill it, even though it's just a Poochiana. Yeah. Because, I mean, you know, when it evolves into Mighty Anna, it'll have Intimidate, and yeah, Intimidate's and... a pretty good ability. Yeah, and we have the physical special split, so it's actually usable. Right, yeah, uh, Bite will be Moon physical and stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's see, how do I... Spell this. Okay, yeah, right, I need to come up with a nickname now. Um. Yep. <laughs> See, I, what I did was, uh, what am I trying to say? Um, crap, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yes, um, because since Poochiana and Mariana are based off of hyenas, yeah. And I am a huge fan of the Lion King, so I'm naming it after one of the Lion Kings from uh, the one of the hyenas from the Lion King. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I have not. I, well, if I saw the Lion King, I was like four, and so I don't remember it. You're kidding. Uh, I am not kidding. The, the Lion King is the greatest movie ever made. This <laughs> series is canceled until you finish watching the Lion King. Okay. <laughs> Click stop recording. No. <laughs> um, Alright, you know, I'll I'll just I'll just name it after my dog, why not? Even now okay. my dog is not a hyena. <laughs> so another thing, you should check the ability because my uh my Poochiana has strong jaw. Which means oh. bite and crunch are gonna do even more damage. Uh I have runaway. Oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well on the other hand that that, I, I, I'm pretty sure that means I'll have Intimidate. I don't think you will, though. If oh, you have yeah, Strong that's... Jaw. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe... But but my Crunch will do more damage, so I think I think it's a pretty nice trade-off. That, that's true, yeah. <clears throat> and I honestly have no idea what moves it learns, so I don't know if it'll learn another Biting move or not. Alright, let's see. What have we got here? Oh, cool. I got a Baneri and for my Rattle 3 encounter. Oh, jeez, I'm, st I'm still on the first route. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's let me let me try and catch up to you now, and let's okay. see what I get on route one of three. Also, I just oh, re what's up? I just realized doesn't Baneri start with like zero oh! half? Did you kill it? I got a crit. You killed it. Yep, I got a crit. Shit. <laughs> Because I encountered a Mareep, and I was really looking forward to that. It, it's not my fault. I, it was in yellow hell. I, I wanted to take it down to the red. Oh. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I wanted that Baneri, so... I've never been able to use a Baneri. <laughs> like, every time I get a Baneri, it's either, like, I have better Pokemon, and I get the Baneri, like, late game... Or when I did a, a Nuzlocke on my Pokemon Platinum on my uh, actual cartridge, yeah. my Baneri my Baneri died. Oh. So, well, uh, let's by the, check out. 
Uh, by up? the way, something worth noting that I just found on Route 103, over where you can surf, there's some rock yeah. smash rocks uh, blocking a TM. Yeah, I saw that. Alright. Yeah, so, so we'll something have to, to come remember back for to later that. once we beat Watson. Yeah. I have a freaking Zigzagoon on Route 102. Alright, I'm hoping for like Veralt, but I know that's a long <laughs> shot. I mean, won't it teleport immediately though? Uh, no, it doesn't get teleport till like 16 or something, at least in Gen oh, 3. Okay. All it knows is Growl. Okay. Uh, also, my encounters are more both so yay. <laughs> um, let's see. So this is my team. Really wish I had that Baneer now. Okay, whoa, this Zigzagoon is Adam in nature, so maybe it won't be as bad as I thought. Nice. Um, <coughs> yeah, Pokeball. Okay, so I now have a Wurmple. Yay! <laughs> I mean, but now we can guess about what it'll be. Uh, that's true, because Wurmple or Dustox. Yeah, because it's totally random what it evolves into. Yeah. Uh. Okay, so let's see. Nickname. Uh. I I I'll. I'm gonna recycle a nickname from one of my attempts at a Nuzlocke of uh, Ruby or Sapphire or whatever. I'm gonna name it Wormple, but spelled like W Y R M. Ah, I see. Alright, so let's see. Let's just check out the name tricks. Why not? <laughs> Mine's adamant too. <laughs> Except it's a Wormple, <laughs> not a Zigzagoon, but. Oh man, oh man, that kind of sucks though because like both Dust Talks and Beautify are special attackers. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. I mean, hey, if you want, like, I don't really care for Zigzagoon, <laughs> so I would gladly put this thing in the box. Yeah, no, um, I don't know. I'm still gonna keep it around anyway because worst yeah. case scenario, Death Fodder, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out this first youngster here, see what the levels are like. Um, I think it was a level 5. Because I, I just beat him. I'm on the... Alright, yeah, level 5. Right. So yeah. that's not terrible. Yeah, it's, it's not the worst. <clears throat> Alright, so I'll just kind of, uh... I'll keep my uh, Poochiana in the lead then and just, like, bait and switch, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I feel like I'll probably... I don't really want to touch the Zigzagoon uh, this episode. Uh, I don't know, maybe, like, do some off-screen grinding, I guess. Yeah. So... Oh, yeah, how do you want oh, to do that? We... What happened? Um, so... No. <laughs> so what, here's what the died? thing. I'm not used to doing Nuzlocks. Yeah. I'm used to speeding through the game and just taking whatever comes my way. Yeah. I might have already killed something. Uh, who was it? It, it? it was the Poochiana. Uh, okay, that, that's fine. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's I, I, <laughs> I, I need to unlearn my habits because that's going to freaking kill our entire teams. <laughs> I just speed through everything and not give a shit about what things. <laughs> All right, so I am sorry like about have... that. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's fine. Um, I'll get over it. Um, uh, I but hey, maybe maybe now I can get some appreciation for Zigzagoon. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So I'm just gonna rename this box like dead. And yeah. then stick it in there and be very <laughs> sad that I already showed my expertise at this game. <laughs> or at this challenge. Oh Alright, yeah, let me go box mine. Yeah. And I accidentally went back in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> okay, well, pretty eventful. So out of our four encounters, I killed one by a crit and, <laughs> and you killed one too so we're even you know this is yeah, this is the first yeah, episode it's okay yeah we yeah. just won't have any more pokemon die at all <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> um 
Also, I have so not been paying attention, but I think it's been about half hour, so you want to call it quits here? Yeah, yeah, let's call it quits. I'm just uh, renaming some boxes. All right. So yeah, and I'm just gonna buy like a few pokeballs here because I'm running oh, low yeah, on them already. Yeah. All right. So, um, well, actually, hold on. Let let's. You want to go to Route 104 just to see what our encounters are there? Oh yeah, we yeah. we can definitely do that. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So I'll just kind of skip. So do what? I was gonna say I'll, I'll just kind of skip ahead some some of these optional trainers here just to help speed okay, it up. Okay. Yeah. And we can always come let back me... and do these next time. Yeah. So let me buy some more Pokeballs. And... Oh yeah, we have to sit through the Wally uh, catching tutorial thing first, but whatever, we can just speed through that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm already hitting my speed up button. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let me make sure I don't battle anyone else. Crap. Hopefully I don't get into a battle. I, it's pretty easy to dodge okay. the, the last two, actually the last three trainers, so. Yeah. Because, um, but what happened was that for the youngster, uh, yeah. I like, as soon as I got in his line of sight, I got into a wild battle. So I didn't know if, like, if it would register, oh. like, I don't know if I was close enough. I guess I didn't realize there was grass there. Wait, what happened? Well, in front of the young... Oh wait, the other youngster. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, I, I, I I'm, I'm already forgetting the route that I just went on. <laughs> uh, all right. So my route one and four encounter is a Pidgey. Okay, that, that's not bad. Yeah, that's acceptable. Uh, talking to my daddy, Wally person. Yada 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 yada. Wally, Wally, Zigzagoon, Pokeball. Alright, and Pidgey Cut. Okay. Nice. Alright, so. Yeah, let's see. I'll just kind of, uh. fart around. I, oh, wait. I, I, I'm not spelling this correctly. Yay. <laughs> I apparently cannot uh, talk and spell at the same time. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, it, it happens. When I was um typing up the nickname for my Poochiana, um yeah. like I don't know what like instead of typing up the actual nickname, since I was telling you about the hyenas and Lion King, I was spelling hyena. <laughs> instead, <laughs> of, instead of wanted to nickname it. Yes. Alright. Okay. Um yeah, let me just like check out IVs and stuff. Ooh wow, this Pidgey has really good IVs. Okay, well, that's, that's good. Nice. 29 attack, 28 defense, 29 special defense, 19 HP. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Huh. What? Well, I got I got a Spearow, so... Alright. Spearow is better it's... Pidgey. Uh, mm, it's, it's okay. <laughs> oh, let me not kill this Zigzagoon, though. Okay, so here's the situation. <laughs> oh boy. This Spearow is level 4. Yeah. And my Mudkip is level 9. And Zigzagoon... You know, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball. Yeah. Like, Zigzagoon weakened it a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay, I caught it. You caught it? Yeah. Okay, but the good. Spearow was about to kill Zigzagoon. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I got the perfect name for this Spearow. The perfect name. What is it? All right, so get this. So Spearow is Pokemon number twenty-one. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, Spearow is Pokemon number twenty-one. Do you and name it like so... Blackjack? <laughs> oh wow, that that's so much. That's such a better name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna name it because uh, you know the the like the twenty-one meme that I was gonna name it nine plus ten. Oh, I do not know this meme you're, you're <laughs> speaking of. Oh, what? You don't know the meme? For Oh my gosh, there's so much you need to know. Oh. Okay, I'll just name it Blackjack instead. Oh. Okay. That's, that's such a better name. <laughs> um, Blackjack. Where's the J? There it is. All right. All right, so uh, that <clears throat> should wrap things up then for this episode? Yeah, yeah. Things are pretty eventful, so. Yeah. So, um, 
uh, just to kind of explain before we uh, go off, because I don't think I uh, uh, said this, we're going to be uh, uploading this, like, alternating channel-wise. So, like, the first episode is going to be on my channel, but then the second one's going to be on Terrific's channel, then the third yes. one will be on mine, so on and so forth. Uh, yes. I'll be sure to include a link to his channel in the description, so oh, go... Yeah. Go definitely check out his stuff and stuff to him and all that good stuff. Oh uh, yeah, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, check me out. I I have a tendency to rage, but I wouldn't <laughs> call it raging. But some people would call it raging. But it's it's all fun. I suck at playing video games, so <laughs> if that's up your alley, then come check me out. <laughs> yeah, and he does uh, Pokemon stuff. Like he's got a Wobbuffet solo run going on right now. That that's pretty uh, that's pretty interesting to say the least. <sighs> Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's very traumatic. All right. I would well, imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, yeah. I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>